So this is just a crazy story coming out of the WWE, the World Wrestling Entertainment. Now, if you know anything about the WWF or WWE, you will know who Vince McMahon is. He's quite the character, but he is the executive chairman of TKO. TKO is the parent company of the WWE and the UCF. So Vince McMahon is the boss, but most people already know that. I just wanted to clarify for those who may not know who Vince McMahon is. But Vince McMahon has a lot of on-screen antics when it comes to the WWE. He has a lot of weird and bizarre storylines. So he has a lot of engagement in his own company. He has a lot of engagement on screen. He's even participated in wrestling matches and wrestled wrestlers. But Vince McMahon is also known to be very shrewd. A former WWE employee claimed Vince McMahon abused her, including using toys that he named after wrestling stars. Janelle Grant broke her silence about their relationship with disturbing allegations, including charges that the wrestling CEO defecated on her head during a threesome in May 2020 and trafficked her to other WWE executives. Now, outside of this story, people truly do have a fetish. They are truly into feces and urine, being urinated on and playing with feces. Completely, completely never understood that. I know people have, like I said, they have their own fetishes, they have their own thing, but when it comes to involving feces, I, I never understood it. But it's not for me to understand, I guess. I guess I'm not supposed to understand why that is such a turn on. As long as it's between two consenting adults, it's legal. Anyway, moving on. Now this is all according to a complaint filed in the Connecticut Federal Court on Thursday. Grant alleged in the complaint that McMahon sent her a text message in May of 2020, which read, I'm the only one who owns you and controls who I want to blank you. So basically what this text is confirming is that he was indeed sending her off to other men and these men were having their way with her. Now, her lawsuit does come after the Wall Street Journal reported last year that the WWE was investigating an alleged $3 million payment from McMahon to a departing female employee following a consensual affair. Grant, who was unnamed at the time, claimed she received an initial installment of $1 million, but no further payments were made afterwards. So this is when she proceeded with a lawsuit. A subsequent investigation actually found that McMahon paid $14.6 million to several women who accused him of misconduct. She also claims when these toys that were named after professional wrestlers were used on her, he was very rough. Matter of fact, they caused her injuries such as bruising and bleeding. McMahon also took many nude and explicit photos and videos of Grant's. Now what McMahon would do is that he would pass these around to other WWE employees without her consent. He once locked her inside his private locker room at the WWE headquarters in Stamford, Connecticut and forced himself on her over a massage table. McMahon was abusive in many ways, emotionally, physically, and sexually. Now, like I said, the WWE boss is also alleged to have directed Grant to have encounters with other executives and a wrestling star, the lawsuit claims. John Laurinaitis, WWE's former head of talent relations, who is named as a defendant in the lawsuit, was also allegedly recruited by McMahon to have an encounter with Grant. At the time of this recording, I was trying to look up to see who I can find who this wrestling star is, and as I was looking up multiple articles, more information was coming out. Report names Brock Lesnar as the WWE star mentioned in Vince McMahon's trafficking lawsuit. The lawsuit states that the WWE was trying to actively re-sign a former UFC heavyweight champion. This ex-champion turned out to be none other than Brock Lesnar. The WWE was actively trying to do everything they could to persuade Brock Lesnar to come back to the WWE to rejoin. Brock Lesnar absolutely did not want to rejoin the WWE. After a while, as these wrestlers age, these wrestling matches take a major toll on these wrestlers, on their bodies. That mat inside the ring is very hard. It's not a soft mat. And they are constantly either doing stunts on these mats or being slammed on these mats and their backs just give out after a while. And eventually, they are just devouring painkillers. Brock Lesnar is 46. 
in the NBA, the NFL, people have already long retired by the time they're 40. So these wrestlers, after a while, they just can't do it no more. Their bodies eventually give out. They are in constant pain. But on top of everything else, they still have to exercise. They still have to look the part. They still have to be fit. They still have to hit the gym. So this man now wants to retire. But the WWE, Vince McMahon, they were not hearing that. They really won this man back. The problem is the money was not good enough. The money was not convincing to Brock Lesnar to leave retirement. So what does Vince McMahon do? Well, he phones in Grant. According to the suit, Grant was instructed by McMahon to create personalized encounter content for Lesnar referred to only as a UFC and WWE star in the lawsuit. This personal encounter content was used to sway Lesnar back to the WWE to have him rejoin. Grant alleges Lesnar told McMahon that he really enjoyed the content and that McMahon told Grant that Lesnar rejoined the WWE in part so he could continue these encounters with Grant. So not only was Grant a trafficking slave to McMahon, but also Brock Lesnar as well. She did everything that he commanded. The suit further claims that McMahon gave Lesnar Grant's phone number in December, leading to Lesnar requesting that she give him more content. Grant then alleges Lesnar told her he would like to set up a play date between the two of them, though the encounter would ultimately not take place due to a snowstorm. Grant alleges that McMahon would attempt to traffic her to Lesnar one final time in March of 2022 with McMahon once again telling her to send explicit photos to Lesnar. Ultimately, the suit alleges that a physical meeting between Lesnar and Grant never took place. Wait a minute, I don't understand something. The lawsuit states that a physical encounter never took place with Brock Lesnar, but previously, it does state that in the lawsuit it says that she, Grant, gave Lesnar a personalized encounter. According to the suit, Grant was instructed by McMahon to create personalized encounter content for Lesnar, only referred to as UFC and WWE star in the lawsuit, in an attempt to sway Lesnar back to uh, rejoining the WWE. Grant alleges Lesnar told McMahon that he enjoyed the content and that McMahon later told Grant that Lesnar rejoined the WWE in part that he could have encounters with Grant. I had to reread what I previously stated because I can't make much sense of it, but what I'm guessing is that this personalized stuff was photos and videos of her, and that was to persuade him to rejoin, and once he rejoined, then he could have her is what I'm understanding, but they never had the opportunity to do so. Now, Brock Lesnar has yet to comment, but a fresh video against Brock Lesnar of a former female WWE reporter dropped on the same day, Vince McMahon's lawsuit was made public. And there has always been stories of how Brock Lesnar always misbehaved with women in the wrestling business. I haven't followed the WWE since I was a kid. I used to be a huge Hulk Hogan fan. So I don't know all the news that circles around Brock Lesnar, but this is how these things usually start. Once one person makes an accusation, a lot of stuff starts coming out of their closet. It almost sets off a chain reaction, like a snowball effect. But it has been revealed by former announcer Kenny Bolin two years ago that Booker Jim Cornette threatened to shoot Brock Lesnar in the kneecaps after putting his finger in the private parts of his girlfriend's sin. That assault against his co-worker effectively got him kicked out of the OVW when he was only getting started in the business. But right after that, he was signed by former WWE CEO Vince McMahon. That's right, former, because the WWE has decided to let Vince McMahon go, but we will get into that. But it didn't take him long to leave a lasting impression. According to a recent account from former reporter Terry Runnels, Brock Lesnar was just as despicable as his boss when he had just arrived to the WWE. So I know what some people are probably saying, why now? He started these gross behaviors all the way back when he started in the business. Now, everything is starting to come out right after he retired, right after he is very set in stone in the WWE. But it only takes that one person to speak out for everybody else to start feeling comfortable to speak out as well. You have to understand these people who are speaking out were being paid very, very good. It's a rough economy out there. So money, dangling money over somebody's head, that can make them do a lot. That can make a lot of people hush up. I know some people are going to disagree with me, but I see money as a drug. 
Money can make you do some things that you don't want to do. It's a rough world out there. Look, I get it. I know some people are going to say, well, men is a whore. I would never sell myself for any amount of money. But unfortunately, you're not everybody. Like I said, it's very, very hard times out there. When you dangle $3 million in front of somebody's face and you say, all you have to do is be my slave. A lot of people will take that because again, it's $3 million. Vince McMahon is worth billions of dollars. Last I checked, he's worth $3 billion. And he's been accused of doing this to multiple women. But, but on the flip side, even though McMahon has a very, very questionable history, not only with women, but wrestlers as well, we have to remember this is all alleged. Nothing has been proven yet. He has not been found guilty yet. This is all alleged. But I will say that texts have come out in regards to this lawsuit, and it is very damning to Vince McMahon. This could have also been something consensual, but he is her boss. She works for him. And if she was doing favors for him in exchange for money, quid pro quo will get you fired. That is exactly what happened. Now, while he hasn't lost this lawsuit yet, while he hasn't been found of any wrongdoings as of yet, like I said, it's all alleged, the WWE, the parent company of WWE, has decided to let Vince McMahon go. Now, while it does say he resigned, we know how these things go. The WWE does have a board, they do have a committee, and I am sure they are putting the pressure on him. Because if he was indeed innocent, as he states, then why resign? Even though he can afford to do so, he is 78 with $3 billion. If I am innocent and I know I did nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong, nobody's going to make me step down from my company. It could also be that he doesn't want the bad press circling around the WWE, but his name is always going to be linked to the WWE. Even if he leaves, it's still going to leave a bad impression for years to come. This reminds me of a gaming company that I'm a big fan of, Blizzard. They made a lot of games that I used to enjoy, World of Warcraft, Diablo, Starcraft, things like that. They were accused of a lot of terrible behavior similar to Vince McMahon, if not worse. A lot of people did have to step down. Once people stepped down, the company was never really the same. The games, the quality, you can see it in the quality, they just really didn't care anymore. The company is just not the same like it used to be, given the fact that people rightfully had to step down after what came out was indeed proven to be true. So there's always going to be that stain on the company. So like I said, if you didn't do anything and you know for a fact this was either consensual, she's lying, or something else was taking place here, but you know you didn't do it, last thing I would do is step away from the company. No, you're going to have to fight me for this. You're going to have to prove that I was the one actually doing what you're alleging. That pretty much goes along with any celebrity, with any person that pays somebody to shut up, even though they're saying, I'm 100% innocent, I didn't do it. But here's a million dollars, here's two million dollars to shut you up. I don't know, maybe I'm looking at this wrong. Maybe he really does not want to bring the ship down with him. Vince McMahon stated, I stand by my previous statement that Miss Grant's lawsuit is replete with lies, I've seen made up instances that never occurred and is vindictive distortion of the truth. I intend to vigorously defend myself against these baseless accusations and look forward to clearing my name, McMahon said in a statement. However, McMahon also stated that out of the respect for the WWE universe, the extraordinary TKO business and its board members and shareholders, partners and constituents, and all of the employees and superstars who helped make the WWE into the global leader it is today. I have decided to resign from my executive chairmanship and the TKO board of directors effective immediately. So it's possible the board and the committee put the old squeeze on Vince McMahon to make him resign. Now, whether you believe Vince McMahon is innocent or not, because I know some people want to say innocent before proving guilty, Vince McMahon has a lot of allegations against him. From other women, he has been proven to pay other women off. And not only that, a lot of wrestlers have come out saying that he is an utter slimeball. He also turned a lot of people off how he handled Owen Hart's death. So this man really does have a questionable history. But I do want to hear from you. Please comment below. 
in any case, thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please like, as any engagement does help the channel grow. Once again, thank you so much for your support.